Hello guys, as promised today we'll make another video of 106 running on Samsung Galaxy X6 Edge and we'll start with the quickest thing the RAM management and RAM usage when the system is not actually doing anything else so all apps were stopped just before we started recording the video and as you can see 76% of the RAM are used I'm not sure that's a good thing I think it's too much three quarters of the RAM used just for running the system so let's give all the apps and all the background process and we'll see if that's going to change so yeah not good or at least I think so so for those of you who asked about the RAM usage as like just the system RAM usage I hope you get the answer so few of you asked about the edge what's new about the edge uh, not much in this version there will be more changes in next update which will be 6.0.1 and we expect that soon but what we noticed so far is this you can actually change the edge screen position by moving it up and down so if you put it here it will be a different place it's a good thing useful feature a few of you asked about the battery life so there were a few comments that battery life is actually awful and a few other comments that it's actually better what we've noticed is this we have 29 percent of battery remaining and as you can see here the phone was working on battery for 21 hours and a half which is really really better than before and as you can see the phone is, was used pretty heavy 21% of the time on screen on lots of apps running we played videos, record videos and so on and so on so that's improved really good results I hope again that answers your question about the battery life and what we've noticed and what will make this video longer is the camera. Serious changes here. So far you can notice this menu on the top. You can hide it and show it, nothing new here. You have effects though, which is new. Or at least the position of the effects is new. You have this, the more interesting thing or at least the more interesting for me is the pro mode so what you can do in the pro mode is pretty much this you what well, yeah sorry i forgot about this when you select mode you have all these new features here you have live broadcast to youtube that that was here before i don't have it on my note 4 and i'm really envious of this camera app but i hope i'll get this soon so let's check out the pro mode for comparison let's use this remote control you can see how it looks and when we switch the, the pro mode on everything changes because now you have full control over the camera app you can save files in raw mode it's a really big file I'm pretty sure you can read everything that's written here so I don't need to read it Ready for you. Okay, so let, let's play around a bit. We have standard. We are now on electric white, not natural white, so it's not that good. But I'll just change the modes so we can have an idea what each mode is doing. Of course, you can have your custom. And also, you can press the C here and save your camera settings for future use. So we have white balance. It's a really good range. We have the ISO up to... Hmm. 800. That's not amazing, but it's not bad either. 
I'm pretty sure that camera can handle a bit more. Of course, we have the auto mode. And so, camera is getting better than before, or at least we have more control, which is something that I missed on previous versions of this app. And I had to download different camera apps for like for macro mode if I wanted to make a good picture like panorama pictures well actually the panorama was kind of okay and yeah we can make separate video about the camera and just extend it and show you everything if you like so just put it in the comment section and again another guy asked for the UI so that's the home screen we already mentioned that the icons were changed and they now look weak and all ugly or at least that's our opinion they don't look consistent so for example we have only the built-in apps it will be okay as you can see here the phone the contacts the messengers the messages and the calculator and so on the built-in apps but when you have something new like google chrome or chromecast or anything it looks ugly so developers now have to change their icons and I guess that will be pain because there are lots of versions of Android and thousands of devices running all different versions yeah so that will be here for developers so another interesting feature when you click and tap and press you can drag the folder here on reorder and then you can add new items or just reorder them that's new and if you like to customize your phone which you probably do because you're an android user that's useful also we have this big plus sign here you can add apps by just clicking it and then selecting the apps and add them to the folder of course you can change the theme but that's not new uh, not much to say here in the apps menu you have search that's new you have this on google now launcher but you have it now here and it's really useful especially if you're using hundreds of apps and you have voice search as well you can just remove apps it's i don't like this because it start looking too much like an ios and I don't like my Android device to be like an iPhone device. If I want an iPhone, I'll probably get an iPhone. But again, that's strictly my opinion. Of course, you can select them by A to Z or just uh, create a custom order. Then browse. You know, uh, yeah, by letter. Sorry, I can't find this immediately. It was here. Oh, anyway, so just ignore the last sentence. If you press on empty space, nothing's happening. Double tap again, nothing happening. So, I don't know what else to say about the UI. You have the menu, you have notification settings. But that's nothing new, it's just put it there so it's easily accessed. Mm. Yeah, overall the device is working great with this new version even though it's still better or beta or whatever you prefer to call it we hope to get the next patch or update soon the 601 because there will be some more ui changes and not only of course but the ui is what we can see um, yeah that that's it pretty much so I'm not sure what else to say, so if you want to see something specific just put it in the comment section. If you like the video hit the like button, if you don't like it just let us know why, so we will try to improve. And that's it. Thanks for watching, see you next video.